Hey guys, welcome back to the Motivational Drive. I wanted to tell a story today about a Native American uh, proverb. And it's that one of the elders of the tribe takes one of the, uh, the braves and he's walking with him out in the woods and he's telling him a story that there are two wolves. Now you may have heard this story before. It's a fairly common story, but uh, I want to get to my point to it and what I like about it. So he tells him that there are two wolves, one black and one white. The first wolf represents anger, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, uh, self-pity, guilt, uh, resentment, um, an inferiority complex, being a liar, uh, false pride is associated with that, and uh, sometimes that all comes together to make a sense of superiority over others. He said the other wolf, the white wolf, that wolf is made of joy and peace, serenity, humility, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, hope, faith. And he tells the brave that there is an eternal struggle and the two wolves are always fighting. And the brave asks the elder, which wolf wins? And the answer is the wolf that you feed. And I like that. What I like about that is it makes sense. And we all know if we give over to our uh, evil emotions, our dark emotions, that we, they feed on each other and they get bigger, right? And the same thing if you live in positivity, good emotions will feed off of each other. Okay, and whichever one you invest a whole bunch of energy putting in, or putting into, you will see that that is the wolf that you're going to grow. That's the wolf that's going to win. And what I really like about it, the, the point that I personally wanted to make and my take on this, is I think so often we feel that, because we all have negative emotion, and we all go through that because we're all human beings, but I think we feel that negative emotions are compartmentalized. That maybe, maybe your thing is that you always feel guilty. You always feel um, insecure. You always feel that you're not good enough. And you don't feel that that ties into anger or that ties into jealousy or that ties into the other negative emotions, right? So we feel that sometimes just to feel one or two kind of keeps us separate and it's not so bad. And then if you take and separate those, it's easy to say, well, my, my, my wolf's not that big or I don't feed that wolf, right? It's not that big of a deal. But let me tell you a little story or make an example, I should say, of how the negative emotions run together. Let's take a guy who's not emotionally stable. He's not, he doesn't have his emotions under control. And so he tends to live in the negative side of emotions. So now this guy feels really insecure about who he is. Never felt great about who he is, never had a lot of self-confidence. So somehow he still manages to find a girlfriend. Now he's got a girlfriend, but he's always insecure. He lives with a sense of false pride because he always acts this bravado like he's great, even though inside he's insecure. If they go out somewhere and other guys talk to her, he'll get jealous. And if he gets jealous, Next thing you know, he'll be angry. She might not like the angry side of him, the jealous side of him. She leaves him, and now he's living in regret and sorrow. So I just took you through a whole range of negative emotions 
to show you just how easily they bleed into one another. And the fact that if you really are feeding it, they get bigger. The whole animal gets bigger. The whole wolf. Not just one. Not just one little element of it. It's the whole thing. And so I could take you on another example. I guess I'm not getting in that lane. I could take you on another example, which would be the positive side of things. That when you live with faith and confidence, you feel fantastic in your abilities and you feel fantastic in who you are. And so you don't feel a need to criticize others or feel jealous or feel anger or resentment. You don't feel those feelings because you feel so secure in who you are and you feel so much more passion and joy about who you are. And that whole animal gets stronger. So I gave you a couple of test cases or examples, okay? But now we're gonna go to real life. I'm gonna tell you something about myself. Um, this has been going really well. I like this video so far, so uh, I, uh, I don't know. This is, uh, this is the part I don't wanna really add, but it's my human side. I get really, really bad road rage, okay? And when I drive, if people are going too slow, I, I lose my mind, I go crazy, I swear at people, I say god-awful things, and I become a human being that I don't like being, I don't respect, and I know it's not my best self, okay? So they're all things about that activity that I know make me a weaker person or feed the, the, the bad wolf, the evil wolf, so to speak, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about science now. They're, they did a neuroscience study, a, si a study on the brain, and they found that, you know, we're all chemicals, anything that we think any thought that we think has a chemical equivalent in our brain, it fires that chemical through our brain, and that's how we feel our emotions, whether it's joy or anger, no matter what it is, it's all chemicals in the brain. Well, they found out that that chemical signal also has an electrical signal. It goes through your entire body, and every single cell in your body gets a charge and a chemical signal from that emotion. And if we allow ourselves to think negative emotions or bad thoughts, we allow for that chemical to run through our mind and into our bloodstream and into our bodies. And when we do that, if you, okay, let's take for an example my road rage fit. Now I'm driving and I throw a fit in road rage. Those chemicals will stay in your blood for up to two hours, giving you a greater propensity or a greater ability to feel those feelings again. Okay, so... Every time you allow yourself to slip into that negative emotion, that dark path, you give yourself a greater ability to be that person. And now when I'm not in the car, I really feel like I'm a pretty amazing human being. I smile at people, I talk to people, I engage people, I like people, I care about people, I, I live a life that I'm proud of, I'm, I'm just a happy person. And I feel like most of my life, I give over to the white wolf, the good wolf. Now, when I get in the car and I allow the road rage to take over, I diminish the ability to be the good guy. I feed the negative wolf and I diminish the positive wolf, okay? And so what's so important about that and what I want to tell you is when you feed the white wolf, the rest of my life is positive, like I said. And I, don't get me wrong, I have moments where I freak out or have bad days, just like anybody. But they're very limited because of how much time I spend feeding the positive wolf. And so, because my positive wolf has gotten so large and it has an ability to fight and combat the negative wolf so easily, I am firmly convinced that it led me to these videos with you. While I'm doing these videos with you, I'm talking about positive subjects, I may be helping other people, it's a totally beneficial thing, but even if that doesn't work out and I don't help other people, while I'm doing these videos and driving, I don't get road rage. 
I don't get crazy. I don't say bad things to people. I don't, you know, I don't flip people off and I don't, I'm not a monster. And I, I drive for two hours a day and I spend the first part of my drive thinking about what I want to say to you guys. Then I spend the time saying it to you guys. And then the rest of my journey in the car, I kind of reflect on what I said and I think about my message and I get an overall wonderful feeling during my drive. So because I feed the positive wolf so much, it gave me an ability to find another way to combat the negative wolf. And now while I drive, my road rage is diminished. The negative chemicals in my brain are diminished. They don't flow into my blood and they don't feed my ability to tap back into the dark side later. It keeps my day more positive. It keeps me more happy. Maybe it motivates and inspires other people. And for me, it is a win, win, win. So when you try to feed the positive wolf and you think about that on a constant basis, take it from me, that wolf will get huge. It'll get dominant. It will be the modus operandum for your life. I think that's the way you say it, modus operandi. Modus operandi. It'll be your MO. It'll be how you go through this world. And that's what I want to share with you guys. I hope you liked this lesson. It's a little bit about me and how I'm dealing with my evil side and, and my negative emotions. I'm a human being. I go through it just because a lot of these sound like maybe I've got life all figured out. Trust me, I have my moments where I'm going through my, my valleys and, and I'm going through my lows. So the point is keep feeding the right wolf. Take those baby steps. I keep taking about talking about baby steps. As long as you just keep moving forward in the right direction, realizing you're feeding the right side of the emotional spectrum. And so I hope this really helps you to start being focused on where you want to apply your energy. Areas where you might not succeed, just like me, I had a huge area in my life where I wasn't succeeding. While I was in the car, I was definitely failing. I was definitely being the worst possible version of Joe. And that's not who I want to strive to be. So I found a way to break that cycle. Keep being positive. You will find ways to break your negative cycle. You will find ways to make your life fantastic and to live the life that you want to live. I hope I'm helping with that. If I made an impact in one of my messages or in this message, hit the subscribe button, hit the notify button, and share this video. Get it out there for other people. There's so many people in this life that walk around feeding the wrong wolf, and that wolf is getting so large, and you can see it everywhere in our society today. Be a part of making the white wolf win in society today. The positive wolf. You can do it. I got faith in you. I got faith in your abilities because as long as you make a commitment to be a better person, you can start that path today. Start taking the baby steps. Start feeding the right wolf and you're going to be there before you know it. So thanks for spending some time with me today on my journey. I really appreciate you spending the time to watch these videos and give me some support. So have a fantastic day. You'll see me on the next ride. Take care, guys.